Boom! What's up everybody? My name is Kim Scogwell and today I will be showing you my favorite uh, encryption software for your online security or your uh, solid state security flash drive, whatever your local drives. It is absolutely awesome and today I will be answering these questions. Is it free? Is it a lightweight? What kind of encryption it has? Is there any backdoors? And is there any registration? If you're wondering, curious about what this is, please stay tuned. If you like this video, hit that bell button and the like button and subscribe. If you don't, you know what to do. Let's get to it. Okay, so here we are back inside of the computer. We're gonna open up Google Chrome. You're gonna type in cryptomator.org. This is their web page. And as you can see, it's the free client side encryption for your cloud files. It's open source software, which is great. No backdoors and no registration, which is even better. Open source does mean that anybody can go in and have a look at the code if they want to, and it makes it a whole lot easier for people who know what they're doing to check and see that there actually are no backdoors, there are no uh, no uh, nasty stuff, no no stuff you don't want in there, since this is supposed to be a security encryption software. I recommend if you like this app to uh, give them a little donation. And if you scroll down, you can see how does Cryptomator pro protect your cloud files. Gives you a short description, you can see some more. Gives you a quick overview over how it works. It's really easy, it's super, um, it's super fast. I love this stuff. And you can see it's been in a lot of the tech uh, magazines. So we have the downloads page where you will go and download it. Hit download. Once it's downloaded, make sure you check the file integrity. If you don't know how to do it, you can check this video, which is going to come up here on the screen, or check the link in the description to figure out how to do it. Or you can get the PGP signature here and download it. And that just makes sure that no one has been tampered with this uh, file other than the people who made it. It has some cooperations, some add-ons here for a GMX, uh, for a virtual schwung something in German and uh, some other stuff. We got the support page. This will give you all the information you need. This is the forum. It's a great resource. Enterprise. It's not going to be free, I believe. And then some other documentations here. Once you have downloaded it and installed it, that is straightforward. So I'm not going to show you that. You're going to open it. I'm doing this on a MacBook Pro. And this is basically how it, the GUI works. And it looks the same on a Windows Linux. Um, the Android app is awesome. I think that costs about $6. The iOS app, haven't tried it yet, but that is about $9. So to set it up, make a vault. You plus, press this plus sign, create new vault. Gonna get up a final window. I'm gonna make a test in my Google uh, Drive. You make want to make a new folder, name that folder something inconspicuous. So I'm just, but for this reason, I'm just going to call it test and click create. Now you want to name what's ever going to be the vault inside there. So I'm just going to name this test one and hit save. Now we need to set the password or passphrase. I highly recommend you use the passphrase. But since this is a test for me, I'm not going to be using this. I'll just make a couple of uh, numbers there. You hit create. So to open it, you press your enter your passphrase. And this is how it now looks. We're going to put in a couple of folders in here. So you either right click and press new folder. And this is test one or test two, we can call it. And then 
the other way you can do it is press up here on the gear icon, new folder, uh, and test three. But it ended up, so I'm just going to drag and drop it into the root folder here, which is perfect. So now, if we open up uh, another finder window, we can already now go to the Google Drive here, go to the test, which is this one. You can see that it has a backup master key. Highly, highly recommend you take a copy of this and put it somewhere safe. I would take a copy of this one too, just in case. And you can see everything is encrypted in here, a single file encryption. And we haven't added anything yet, so. But let's go back here. So this is our test one. So that's our test one. So if we add some stuff, let's put in here on test two. I'm going to just copy this image here and paste. And then we can go into test three. I'm going to copy this one and paste it in. So you can see your workflow isn't being disrupted by having to learn anything new. It's just do whatever you did before after you open it. So put it up here. You can see here that we still can't see anything. There's, everything is just encrypted. While we over here in our vault folder, we can still see it. Over there, there. So what we're going to do now, just to make sure that we can't really see it. So I'm going to close this one. And we want to lock this vault to so make sure it's marked lock vault. OK, there's nothing more there. We can open our finder again, go to drive here, make sure once more everything's encrypted. So This is what single file encryption does. It just makes it impossible for you to or a hacker to find it pretty much. And it's got S-crypt as well for the password, which makes brute force attacks pretty much useless, which is awesome because that eats up all the, the memories. You need an incredible computer to be able to use a brute force attack. So again, to get back in here, once you have closed it, you're going to open up the program, choose your vault. Remember, you need to remember your password because there is no backups. Type it in, as enter, and now you're back in here and you can see your, uh, your stuff. So that's pretty cool, right? Now we're going to take a look inside of the Android app because now we can actually access these encrypted files from our Android app. And we would be able to access them from uh, an iOS app as well. I'll see you on the phone in just a few seconds. OK, so we downloaded the Cryptomator app. We open it up. And you're going to see a blank page. You press this plus sign. You add existing wall. You choose which drive you put it on. Test 1, which is what we get. And it says select the master key file. You press it. And there we are. So now you can test 1 here, which is the vault name. Press in your code or passphrase. It opens it up. And there you can see we have the pictures. Go one back and then the other one. That is pretty cool. You press this lock button there and now you have to log in again. And if we go to um, to our uh, OneDrive, like we did on the computer. We go and we find the test one file, and we can see here that it's the same thing. It's totally encrypted. It's just it doesn't make any sense, and it's going to give you a bunch of random options to try and open it, which they can't because they have no clue what, what it is. The single file encryption. This app is just fantastic because now you can access securely your 
encrypted files. I highly, highly recommend uh, getting Cryptomator. It is one of my favorites. It's right up there with Verocrypt, which is a super app. It's just a little bit heavier to run, but you got more encryption formats and uh, settings. This is by far the best one because you can have it on your phone, your computer, and you can have securely encrypted files and access them on either one.